Uh, but yeah, it doesn't change anything from playing a test match. You need to prepare the same way. Uh, three one scoreline is on the board, and despite the scoreline, you want to win every test match that you play. Different different challenges will be posed in these games. In this game, I think the weather is going to be slightly different to where we played so far. So yeah, all that factored in. Just have to look at what's on hand and go about doing your business. <coughs> I think beyond all the motivational factors of uh, what it means to me, my friends, my family, everybody, uh, all those that have been associated with me over the years, um, more than a destination, I think the journey has been very special. So, firstly, I'd like to recognize that. And uh, secondly, I think it's, in a way, uh, I wouldn't say it's motivation for a lot of cricketers that come from the state, but I think it's, it's an experience that I'd like to share uh, with many more that come from uh, my part of the country. Uh, I think there is a lot of talent out there. There has been a lot of talent. Make no mistake about the ability that those people had in the past or those that will have in the future. Um, but embracing the culture of what Indian cricket really is and uh, what to expect and how exactly to go about it is something I, that I would probably like to epitomize for the future and also share the journey with a lot more people who can make it here. Um, I also really hope and wish that many more come from there and go on to achieve even better things than I have. So I think one of the talking, one of the most, I, I think one of the turning points of my life was uh, that English series when Cook came here and made all those runs and along with Peterson who had a great game in Mumbai. Uh, it's been spoken about and talked about and it was at that point of time spoken about a lot. Um, but to me that, that and what led up to the next series where we were going to play Australia here at home. And there was a lot of noise of me being left out of the team and all that. And recently, one of the selectors, those involved, had a chat with me as well about it. Uh, and what what was the thought process and stuff like that. I found it a bit, at that time, it was a bit nervy because I didn't know where it came from because I played like three series, had my first series in Australia, bowled really well in Melbourne, had a decent test match at Adelaide, uh, came back, had been player of the series twice before that and uh, was on the verge of being left out. And I, it, I, I felt it was... I was very young as well into international cricket and I felt, okay, is that all? Is that the time that I've got here? Uh, but when I went back and reflected upon it and after all those articles written and all those people saying what they had to say, there was one thing that dawned upon me about what was wrong with me. Uh, and uh, that is a very, uh, that's a wonderful lesson I still kept with me all these years down the line because uh, whatever happens, uh, we, we, we have a we can hold a lot of complaints against somebody external or we can blame it on another individual but for me if you looked internally at least you can improve by another five percent unless and until there's something wrong with you people are not going to throw uh, punches at you or point fingers at you and when I look back at it and looked at it intrinsically I felt I knew what I had to correct and uh, ever since then it's been about addressing downs and uh, troubleshooting for all the questions that were thrown upon me some of the questions I raised upon myself mostly and largely and uh, like I said that's that's probably been a very motivation motivating factor for me over the years to reflect upon the downs and work on it in fact I would say maybe there is a little psychic in there who wants those things to happen and wants to work on it so yeah that's why I think learning is one of the biggest things this game has taught me and correcting those mistakes is an ability that I've acquired over the years and I'm thankful for the game to have given that to me. Uh, Ashwin, a similar question, if you could maybe just pick out the, the two or three uh, most memorable spells that you feel you have bowled in test cricket. Uh, I would always, like I said, it's it's test wins that stand tall uh, when you finish and when you complete. But uh, after having given it a lot of thought and also thinking if it would sound really narcissistic, <laughs> then I decided to let go of it. Uh, one of the, one of the finest spells I bowled has been has to be the one in Birmingham in 2018-19. Uh, I bowled both the innings. I thought almost when I got those three wickets on the morning of day three, uh, when England was some 40, 50, I don't know how, exactly how much for three. I got Cook, Root, and uh, I can't remember who, who the other. Maybe Jennings. I got seven in the game. I felt like I had almost bowled India to a victory at uh, Birmingham, but didn't didn't uh, didn't happen. That was that has to be one of the finest spells I bowled. Uh, leaving India's victory aside and that, that's why that probably will rank lesser. Uh, a test match at Bangalore uh, where I bowled a spell on day two morning, uh, not for many rewards. And uh, yeah, day one at Centurion in 2018-19 again, uh, the South Africa got four for, could have, could have been a six or a seven for it didn't happen. 
Uh, but yeah, there was a good spell as well. So those are three spells that will stand out uh, when I look at it. There's several fifers and several wins that have happened over the years. But these are spells that you'll remember for how it came out of the hand, what it meant to you personally.